Is your name Lulu? Hello Sycamore, happy Friday. Today is March 31st, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Caitlin. And hi, I'm Diana. We're super excited to be here with you all on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country together as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Remember, wear red for Autism Awareness and Acceptance Day on Monday, April 4th. Plan to wear red to school on Monday to support our autistic friends. Did you know that autism affects about 1 in 68 children in the United States with more children identified than before? Yeah. In addition, autism is about four times more likely in boys than girls. Check your school emails throughout the day, friends, and be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Flexville is participating in Noam and Danny's Pencil Bouncing Challenge. March Madness is in full swing. Keep bouncing those pencils and report your numbers. Here is the Pencil Bouncing Bracket. See who you are challenging. Now, hello everyone, we're here to announce the Pencil Bouncing Bracket. Today, we have Tepfer versus Derbyshire. Man, that's going to be a really good match. I really feel like setting up was, you know, great, great do on their part. Then Rodriguez is going to face whoever wins that match. So I'm really excited to see who wins. My money's on Tepfer. Don't tell anybody who said that. You know what I'm saying? And then we have Stein and Morris. I mean, Ooh. Stein's going to go all out. Like, she's Mrs. Stein. She's big classes. Ah, I big feel classes. like she's got some talent in there, but, you know, Mrs. Morris. Mrs. Morris yo always, say, always coming in with the surprises, you know what I'm saying? Yo hablo espanol, Mrs. Morris over there. Oh, um, <laughs> and I think I I think Mrs. Stein's going to win that. I, I, I got my money on Morris. Let's see what happens. Uh, next up, we have Spielman and Callahan. Honestly, in my opinion, Callahan, yeah, I think might, so too. he might lose, but I at the same Callahan's time, gonna win. Spielman, like but Spielman, yeah, Spielman got some people. I mean, Spielman uses pencils a lot. I mean, she's an art class. She's an yeah. art teacher. So I wouldn't be so surprised I think if they, they started. I think it's Spe I think it's Mrs. Spielman. I think she's gonna take that. And then we have Heron versus Schaff, Mrs. Schaff, and I think. Heron, like I said, again, with the art teachers, I think Mrs. Heron is going to take that win. I mean, she's an art teacher. They use <laughs> pencils. so that's I don't really thing. know these two teachers so well, but I do know Miss Heron is an art teacher, as you said. But at the same time, Shaft, I don't know. Pretty shafty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Next up, Heil and the Oreo? I mean, Mr. Heil, Mr. I don't know. I mean, I've seen Mr. Heil. He's been going all out on the pop tabs, so pencil bouncing is just another thing he's going to go after. I think Mr. Heil's got this. And, like, as they said in the pop tab yesterday, like, new people, like, new people can come in and just Destroy, blow everybody yeah. out of the water. Like, it could be super surprising. Then we have Jarvis and Miles, and the winner of that will be uh, going against Mrs. Beattie. Now... I got faith in Jarvis because I'm a Jarvis, but at the same time, math uses pencils, and you use an eraser a lot in math. So the you question really, is, you thinking. if they erase a lot, like, will there even be an eraser there to bounce? Oh, I yeah. mean, <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Jarvis might slows. win. Like, they don't, they don't have erasers. But so, I don't really see Miss Jarvis's class use a lot of pencils, so yeah, this could so really go either way. I think, yeah, I think it could be either way. So and, maybe be ready. Yeah, that was the. Pencil bouncing bracket. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, time to mark and check your calendars for our school events. Make sure to bring your tickets today to lunch for Cheesy Challenges Raffle. Woo! Make sure to keep collecting those pop tabs and turning them into your flex spell teachers. And may the best flex spell team win. The bracket will be updated Monday, so keep collecting to move on in your bracket or plan to bargain your tabs. We're in our final quarter ever in this old building and air testing is quickly approaching in a couple of weeks. Our first testing week will begin the week of April 11th with ELA air testing on April 11th and 12th. Math air testing will be on the 19th and the 20th. Science for only grade eight on the 25th of April. Now, our final Women's History Month story for this month. 
Oprah Winfrey. Winfrey started out as a Nashville reporter in the 70s before she was offered her own 30-minute talk show on the Chicago station. The Oprah Winfrey show went national in 1986. By 2003, she'd earned the title of the first female African-American billionaire. Wow, thank you, Oprah. Next up, did you know? Spaghetto, confetto, and graffetto are singular forms of spaghetti, confetti, and graffiti. Next up, National Day. Today is National Prom Day. On March 31st, National Prom Day honors friendship and cherished memories and celebrates the history, joy, and excitement this milestone event brings. Wow, that's exciting, especially for people going into junior, senior year. Yeah. Next up, let's hear birthdays. Happy birthday to Bryce K and Elizabeth M celebrating today. And over the weekend, Stephen M, Eric M, and Isabel Z celebrating tomorrow. And on Sunday, we have Charlie P, Damari H, and Miss Huffman. Happy birthday, Miss Huffman. We love you. Happy have birthday. A, have a great and wonderful birthday. Now over to some special clubs and activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Our international club you're going to meet today after school. Your focus country today is Norway, and be sure to have a ride home by 4.15. The Sycamore Junior High First Tech Challenge Robotics Final it, mo Monday morning meetings are April 3rd and April 10th from 3 to 5 o'clock. Please plan your rides home accordingly. We will be CADing, 3D printing, and working on a project with our high school FTC state champs and the World Championship Bound Sycamore Juniper Robotics. That's pretty awesome. Check your email for important information or see Mrs. Jarvis for details. Go Sycamore Robotics. What the world? All library books are due back Monday. Monday. Like, you know, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. All library books are due back. Okay? If your book is lost, we will apply a replacement fee to your parent portal account. So, and obviously the fee depends on the book. All right? So, all library books are due on Monday. All right? Get those things in. Um, all second quarter straight A students, if you earned straight A's during the second quarter and received an email regarding the Cincinnati Red straight A program, Please see Mrs. Manning in the counseling office before April 6th to claim your ticket voucher. Ooh, ticket voucher. Try and say that a couple of times. All right? Way to go, students, and go and see the Reds. It'll be fun. All right, and if you have Mrs. Jarvis's yellow cone hall pass, please return it to her room today. So if you see a yellow cone hall pass, okay, if you see it on the milk carton, you see it wandering aimlessly around the hallways, if you see it lonely at a bus stop, please bring it back to Mrs. Jarvis. All right, that's it for me. You guys have a great day and a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday. All right, now it is at my favorite time of the week to present this week's Students of the Week. So our first student of the week, come on over, is Caroline Ranke. All right, and Caroline was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful, even that one too, uh, for Mr. Heffron. So congratulations, Thank Caroline. You. There is that. And then she gets some Chick-fil-A. There we go, dear. Thank you. All right, our next student of the week is Ada Brown. This is kind of a surprise. Ada was nominated by, oh, me. Mr. Harris nominated Ada. And Ada is very responsible. She's safe. She's a problem solver. And she's very respectful. So congratulations, Ada. Thank you. There's your certificate. And there's your Chick-fil-A. Thank you. And our last student of the week, come on over, is Javon Humes. And Javon was nominated by Mr. Haynes. And again, he was nominated for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So again, these are our students of the week. There's your certificate. We'd like to say congratulations. Give it up for our students of the week. Yay! Congratulations. And there's your Chick-fil-A. We'll see you next week. Next up, Aubrey with Pet of the Week. Hi, I'm Aubrey, and welcome back to my segment of Aubrey's Pet of the Week. To start off, we have Emily L., who has two bunnies named Luna and Bentley. Bentley is three and Luna is four. They really enjoy cuddles, but they hate being groomed. Next we have Mrs. Beatty. Mrs. Beatty has a cat named Pickles. Pickles is a rescue and enjoys being outside and indoors. She has a white spot on her chest. Pickles is two years old. More about Pickles is that she's a cat slash dog by going outside and catching her toys. Next we have Samuel F. Australian Shepherd slash Coley slash German Shepherd slash Golden Retriever slash Pitbull slash Mutt Mix. Basically, she is all over the place but is an amazing dog. Next we have Miss Jarvis. 
Miss Jarvis has a dog named Willow. Willow is three years old. More about Willow is that Willow loves playing with her pet friends and chasing her toys in tennis balls. She's very fast and agile too. Next we have Mr. Foley. Mr. Foley has a Bernese mountain dog. He loves walks and camping. His best friend is a cat. Next we have Ziva VT. She has a, a dog named Dax. Dax is three years old. She said that Dax was born on a farm and we adopted him when he was eight weeks old. Next we have Ziva again. She also has a fish named Dot. She says that we have had him for three or four years. More about Dot is that she said my sister won a drawing for the class pet a couple years ago. Next we have Coraline H. Her pet's name is Sweet Baby and Sweet Baby is eight years old and a pet loves peanut butter and cheese and she loves to go on walks. That is all that we have for this week's Pet of the Week. Thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Which is faster, hot or cold? I don't know. Hot because you can catch a cold. <laughs> Be extraordinary sycamore and follow PBAS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week. We're right on Monday and go Waves! <laughs>